These guys are looking to take down Sentinels. They're looking to cause a huge upset right from the get-go. Well, she, we've seen so many different versions of talented rosters, right, come and go, especially in the past three years of Halo Infinite. What is missing from these teams to not be hitting the next level or breaking top four? Do you see this team having that opportunity? Tower here. Pibu is trying to get some information. Will receive a body shot. Mental will send them back home. Another body shot, double kill. Sniper goes down. More ammunition for Mental to put into the magazine as they now finally start to venture forward. But they've been as close as possible to the likes of Soul Snipe when Soul has been getting aggressive. But he's just got there that second too late. Soul Snipe's already dead. And then he was finding himself in a 1v2. Flag is on the move. 45 seconds left. So this is Rebellion's the generator area. And lethal back face trying to create some space. The overshield will go in, but he's faced by two guns. Really needs some help and some support. But eventually it comes through the shape and form of mental. Falcade down to no shields. This is the perfect opening from Rebellion. It's gonna be yet another one. I mean, I'm starting to think we're looking at 1-1 one, one already with how things are starting to play out because now Rebellion can once again get behind enemy lines and this time it's cycle with the overshield to just traverse the map in any way he wants. Seconds of time and that's valuable. What a difference maker that could have been though if you'd hit that initial shock rifle shot, suddenly you've been full shields and oh, that's gonna be a nice double from Soul Ball guy as all four members of Sentinels go down and then trying to grab that ball just a desperate attempt to try and get some time on the board and then allowing Rebellion to get the player advantage off the back of the kill. But now with all four dead, Rebellion do have the player advantage as Suppress gets the double. As Rebellion continues to hold, requiring only now four seconds to close out this series and they will win the series against Central. <laughs> As they put on a show but i think we know i think they know this series was won in that strongholds live fire game had they not been able to win that one even if they go into ball and win as expected we then go into a slayer solitude and when i tell you slayer solitude is sentinel's best game type by far rebellion will be happy they didn't have to go there get it done in four and it's a 3-1 victory in the end in what was a very impressive turnaround because that could have been so different had strongholds live fire not seen the same comeback we witnessed and we've seen on Imperium, it looked as though we were seeing the right sort of Sentinels team. They did everything that they needed to do. It was textbook at times. They held the map and was like, all right, this is probably what we're going to expect all series long. But after that game two, particularly even game three, that strongholds was so important. So important. I think they know full well that it's just one of those scenarios where if you do lose some of those games, you have to come back swinging. And Rebellion will be delighted with their performance. Seeds don't win series. Rebellion do. And Blaze has got an interview on the stage. Take it away, fella. Thank you so much, Shurs. Texas, give it up for Shopify Rebellion as they take down Sentinels and move on in the bracket. I'm on the stage with Billy G, a.k.a. Mental. And my man, you know, how did you guys get this series done? It was a 3-1 victory. And you guys going up against one of the only teams that did not make a team change this season. How did you guys get it done? Uh, we knew they are going to be really uh, practice while practice going to this event. Uh, the map pool wasn't the best in our favor. Uh, Pit's by one of our weaker maps, so uh, we had a close pit. We still could have won that one, so after we lost it, we're like, you know, it's whatever. We shook it off and knew the next couple maps weren't as bad as pit for us, so uh, yeah. There you go. And so now, as I know, you know, me and you got a long history, and you are a dominant gamer, and you have been for years. Talk to me about this new shop of our Rebellion team, and how does it feel to play with these guys, and do you think you could do big, uh, big things with this roster? Yeah, I've never been more confident uh, going to an event with the uh, roster in Halo so far. Um, I guess, uh, you know, Soul Snipe and uh, Suppress on the team now, and those guys are goats. So last year, uh, we lost them some close matches. So I think we, we kind of combined the, like, the two of the teams. And yeah, super confident going to this event with this team. Uh, they're great players. There you go. And my last question is about Coach Best Man. It's another season with him. What has he been doing for the team? 
A uh, lot of behind the scenes work. Uh, Bestman's like, uh, you know, he's known for being a pro back in the day, so he's got a lot of knowledge, and he's helped me uh, uh, improve as a player, I guess, throughout the year, throughout Halo seasons, because, you know, I came from different games, so yep. he's helped me a lot personally for this team. He's helped a lot. He's very vocal with this team, um, and yeah, this is, uh, I hope this is our season. All right, I hope it's your season two as well. That's going to do it for me and Mentor on the stage. Show some love to Shopify Rebellion. Lottie, take us away. Thank you so much, Blaze. Shopify Rebellion with the first upset of the major incredible turn of events for this team. And what a confidence builder and booster for these guys to take down a team like Sentinels. And I love a full circle moment. You know this. And when we talked about the pools, we talked about how Shopify really could shock the world and potentially take down Sentinels in this roster. And the fashion in which they did that was extremely impressive, to say the least. Like, he had the first three shots on me pipes, and I was killing the ball guy. Like, right in front of his face, and I just uh, piss on him. Like, after I go ball, like, shit. You hear that? Piss on him when the first three shots on him uh, turned around and reversed him. But yeah, won our series. First series of the day on May. One Sentinels, 3 1. Feeling great. Hope we play the next two series. Goes well. Let's do it. Nemo was off ball streets and uh, that's one of our better game tests as well. Streets oddball. I mean we're really we're really using like good teamwork so I mean, for the most part we're playing really good. Teammates are goaded. Game two was Life Life Slayer. Uh, we had a really good start. We blocked A and C, we spawned the green, we had camo, we just kept like rolling them. Because I like faster on the rotations when they're spawning, so they kept staggering, kept taking that advantage, and uh, we won that game. I believe game three was uh, Hill Recharge. So Hill Recharge, obviously, it's like, I think, one of our best game times. So we knew what the game plan was, you know, get space, work with teammates really well, and we won. You know who did bet uh bet on uh, Billy? Mm. Aperture. Really? Yeah. My guy did my pummel party. <laughs> you know what he asked me, bro? He was just like, he was like uh, straight up. He was like, hey, bro. So um, who's the main sniper for your team? I'm like, bro, I don't know. Like, whoever grabs is really good. With all four of us are really good. And plus, like, I'm not supposed to be answering that technically, but I literally just told him like it's random. Yeah, I saw Serial bet the over on your Slayer kills, map two. Preston? Preston's really fucking good. 11 and a half. I'm surprised his line is so low. Nah, I hit my over. Uh, but nobody over. knows. Nobody knows. I hit my over versus send by 14. Really? Yeah. Who? Me. You're over? On send by like 14 minutes. Wow. Yeah, nobody, nobody, it's because nobody, <laughs> like, no. They, they said they don't know if they have an actor anymore. You guys are on camera, man. I'm for here right now. Most likely, like 99%, we're going to be playing Complexity Winners Round 1. Um, and we're really excited for that one. We've been waiting for that one, literally. So, hopefully we can come out strong and just take care of them. It's going good. <laughs> Don't be shy. You know you like the cameras, dude. You know you love the attention. He loves it. alright. That's it? Yeah. You're the GOAT. You're supposed to have something more to say. Like, what's like something motivating, like, one step forward, um, two steps forward? I'm gonna try my best today. There you go. I like that. Yeah. What about your team? Any motivation in those uh, speech, Jordan? Um, I hope we do good. And, uh, my <laughs> teammates are very good. That was very sweet. <laughs> How about your fans? Um, yeah. I love my fans. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, today we're going to go out there and have some fun, me and my teammates. We're going to go out there and win. We're going to have a great day today.
Okay, post up, guys. Can you guys get time? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm They're literally just G-signing on my screen, running in the middle of the map the whole series. <laughs> that was a literal blow. They have no idea how to play. No idea, literally. Game one. I don't even remember game one. Yeah, sorry. Oh, game one is our best map. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Game one is our best map. So, I mean, that was like a blowout, but like, that's expected. Cause that's our best map. But then game two was not even close. I had 17 assists. Chris Paul. And then game three was literally, it got close kind of, but like we're up 3-0. So like it was, it was close, but like not really ever close, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, told my teammates if we ever played them on lane, it would be a 3-0 in 35 minutes. Took 38. Damn, washed. Washed. They beat us online every time, talk shit. Every time they talk shit online. And they get 3-0. I'm like 12-0 against those players, so GG's. Yeah, um, it wasn't a fun time if you were on the opposite end of uh, playing us, because uh, you have Billy and dropping fucking 40 bombs, so. Uh, they're just not like playing together well. Though Shopify Rebellion, they have made the dream run, the Cinderella story that every team hopes to come into LAN with, and they have been so, so good so far. This is their real, true test. But where is that ball? Suppress gets the ball played once more. This is a madness. One second for SSG, six for Rebellion. Bodies continue to hit the floor, and it's Stanner! want to get stuck in tram here you don't want to be the team who is on spawn and suddenly trying to force your way out of tram time and time again and rebellion make sure they are not that side they push successfully it's a big double for cycle 35 seconds left and rebellion it looks like maybe they're going to start to have to think about the elimination bracket here because ssg are firmly in control and rebellion have to play the old cliche perfect halo the smallest bit of hope in what is becoming a very dark tunnel at the moment now for Shopify Rebellion. They are going to be able to score this one, maybe, but no. Space Station shut three of them down and Cycle will fall as well. And that means it's going to be game. It's going to be set. It's going to be match as Space Station will march on. It has to be said, I was so impressed by Rebellion and what they were able to output in that match. It does mean that now a very terrifying Rebellion drops into the elimination bracket. It could have very easily been 2-0 to Rebellion after the first two maps. Oddball was so close, agonizingly close. But sadly, they have to look at that result and say, well, we just start to focus on the elimination bracket. We did see Foe have a bit of a fight back through the elimination bracket. Unfortunately, Shopify Rebellion got the better of them. Foe, though, taking a game off them. I was so impressed, Walshy, with what Foe managed to do here. And I think that is so buildable for the rest of their season. We need to look at what is coming your way today because we have so much action on the score for you. I can't wait for some of these games and to see how they shape out. Of course, we have Face Clan versus Rebellion set in the elimination final. After that, our winner's final will be happening. Space Station versus Optic Gaming. Who will continue on out of phase and rebellion? They'll find themselves in the elimination final against whoever drops down from the winners. And then, of course, 4.30 p.m., we have our grand finals, which could be a quick one. It could be a slow one. It could be a reset bracket. Who knows what could happen? But I'm here to find out. Folks, before we do get into this first matchup, we have some incredibly talented players on all of our pro teams. And we need to give the flowers to the individuals who've been working hard this weekend. So, Blaze, it's time for our event commendations. Thank you so much, Lottie. And you said it perfectly. We have had so many hard-working players throughout this weekend here at Major One 
absolutely putting on a show on the stage. It is time to show them some love. So help me do that eSports arena. And to help me pass out some medals, I got my Irish brother shirts here on the main stage for St. Patty's Day, OK? It's the best man. Best man has his highest placement as a coach this event leading Shopify Rebellion to a championship Sunday. Now, let's get all our event accommodation winners to the center of the stage in eSports Arena. Give them a loud round of applause for all of our finalists. Well, we've got a match to talk about, and that, of course, is FaZe versus Shopify Rebellion. I, I've got to say, this is going to be a really, really exciting matchup. I think this could be very close, actually. It depends, I think, on what phase we meet. The last time FaZe actually did match up with Shopify Rebellion, Cycle and Mental being on that previous roster, they're looking for revenge. At Worlds, they took them down 3-0. and oh. That was really difficult, and I know that Renegade was being a menace as per usual. Across the three maps, he had 1.77 KD. He had over 22,000 damage. He was a problem. Do you think Shopify Rebellion will come out for revenge? Here. Do you think that they want to shut Renegade down? I mean, this team was put together to potentially create upsets of this magnitude, to knock FaZe out of the elimination bracket, out of the tournament. This team has so much skill. They put in so much hard work. Shopify believe that they can do it. And I think that if they come out and start making individual plays and play as well as they have this weekend, this series can go the distance. It can even go in Shopify's favor. Flip the switch quick. Can't be playing in the dark, not around here. Oh, oh my god! And Cycle has gotten it, and not only that, he stayed alive the entire time, and now he's got that Batlet's control. Gets a kill on the Royal 2. Aid of Red, and along with that, there's good soul snipe and drunk and all of them made that incredible run to make its way third place in a world championship environment. Ends up getting a trade 46 to 40. Just one more squad wipe away from taking this game and moving forward to that elimination bracket finals are FaZe Clan. And it looks like they're gonna slow the game down to a snail's pace, but Suppress doesn't wanna go down, at least not easily. The 41st kill for Shopify. This is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Stay in your seats. Shopify are not throwing up the white flag just yet. They're not throwing in the towel. 46 to 43, three kill game. From a one and four start from Suppressed to 15 kills. He's leading, willing his team forward oh. for stage fight with the flank. Nobody accounting for stage fight. Over towards the A side, it's a huge kill on to Mental. Now Frosty in World 2, pinching from Neon. One more kill, that's it. Shopify's going home, Shopify's going home. Wow, I gotta point out something on the other side for Shopify. Of course, flowers to them. Very incredibly high placing. It was suppressed with 5,500 damage, the yeah. damage dealer of the roster. <laughs> but it wasn't enough. Phase come through once again, 50 to 44, a massive game five for them. And we'll see them in the elimination finals. And it's not just the blood that was pouring off of the main stage, but it was because FaZe Clan will take that series. It was a nail biter right up until the end. Clutch, thoughts about how that series went down. Actually, you were saying you would thought it would have gone to the wire and it would go to a game five, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, uh, as much as FaZe could handle is what Shopify gave them. And unfortunately, Shopify's amazing Slayer run, it ends with the fact that they lose and get knocked out of the tournament. But, I mean, if you want to start with game one, FaZe came out on all cylinders. After this game, I wasn't so sure that this series was going to be as competitive as we thought leading into it. But Shopify did a phenomenal job rebounding in the Slayer in game two.
They certainly did indeed. Well, when it comes to the Slayer, in terms of Shopify Rebellion, I think they have a really good idea of how they want to play. They love the traps, they love to swarm, and they're also darted all across the map, just making sure they're dealing damage and capitalizing on that damage always. They have such a good synergy with their movement. Yeah, one thing I really want to study and go back and watch from Shopify's perspective is just how does Suppressed break through some of these neutral scenarios and just get like a double or triple kill? Yeah. I saw as Cam was coming up on streets, I saw on the kill feed, Suppress killed, Suppress killed, Suppress killed. I'm like, how do you do that without a bunch of these exchanges and other people falling? So somehow he is able to identify some of these opportunities and break through the defenses of one of the best teams. Yeah, that was probably the top three creators of series that I've been a part of in my life. <clears throat> the defending world champs. So we ended up losing. It's really heartbreaking, obviously. We just got them losing, but um, game one left by our worlds. I mean, it's beat us, you know, kind of came out a little weak. We lost out of our game ones this event, so we kind of just like knew we were fine. <clears throat> game two was Otis Slayer, and we honestly destroyed up. That's a really good game. And then game three was it's going to haunt us five forever, probably. I mean, we had it in our hands 35 different times. Literally came down to one second each team. If we can get in for a second. <clears throat> You know, they ended up making a good play at the end of the game, and they won the game. But we showed the resilience, <clears throat> and we bounced back, and we beat them off the flag. And then we go to game five streets, and it was tied all the way up to like 30-30. We had like a 30-29 lead at one point. Camel came up. <clears throat> that was a deciding factor. And yeah, they ended up winning a game five, and it really hurts. Because I believe we're the better team. I actually feel like we're the best team here. We we're so close to beating them. So, so I could say something. Yo, the Shopify Chan goes F and R. Those are Shopify. We're winning this. <laughs> that walked up stage, they chant like, okay. I was like, right. No, that, that was actually one of the most legendary moments, like walking off game four to go uh, to the bathroom and just hearing that. That was super cool. Uh, so, I guess the next step for us is just getting back to the drawing board and practice online again. Uh, next <laughs> in London, just uh, lift my A, begin in June. So, I'm sure we're going to have a boot camp beforehand, then, you know, we're going to give it our all, maybe take a week off, probably after today, and then yeah, get right back to it afterwards.